Hey guys, and welcome to another Space Engineers. We're starting this one off just a little bit differently. Now, I was looking through all of these. I went through about 15 pages of the top rated things, and I couldn't find exactly what I wanted in a ship, but this is the closest thing. Just wanted to show you guys, this is not my creation, so when I bring up the blueprint in-game, if I do indeed decide to go with this one, I'm still back and forth on it. This isn't what I wanted, and while it does do something pretty cool, I'm about to show you guys in these pictures, so you'll notice it kind of changed the lighting, and that's because you can just decouple all of that. I mean, kind of cool, but then you have to rebuild all that crap. Not something I'm completely interested in. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to try to figure out what exactly I want from my ship cuz this isn't it. It really isn't. Like the more I'm talking about it, the more I'm looking at it, this isn't what I wanted. So, I'm going to have to hit the drawing board again. There's not a single one that I could find that is my ship, which means I am going to have to come up with my own design. But I'm probably going to steal a few things from this, and I may create a new world just to pop in and, you know, walk through it with you guys in a second. Just maybe to get some ideas, you know, here and there. Maybe they use it to block that. I didn't even know what it did or something. So, we'll walk through this in a second. I'll be right back. Well, here it is. Now, I don't know how to do the decoupling. I don't know all the buttons or anything. This is my first time looking at it just like you guys. So, we head on in here. I kind of like the way that they left this unfinished so that it looks... Yeah, I think I should have done something like this in my ship. See, this is why we're here. This is exactly why we're here. Oh, Arizona. Uh, no. No. Good, that's left. Come on. I mean, I can take off my helmet right now, and it won't kill me either way. I'm in the equivalent of creative mode. Awesome. Okay, so it is airtight. Whoa, shit. Forgot about depressurized and all that. Yeah, 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 I know. It's uh, kind of cool. At least now I won't get ejected. Wait. Okay, I thought that was going to lead to outside. Eh. I feel like there should be more gyroscopes. After having used mine a couple of times, I feel like there should be a lot more gyroscopes. Alright, let's keep going through here. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm not going to be building this today, but I do... And something that you get... <coughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm actually sick right now, but I was out of time if I wanted to get a recording out. Anyway... Um, let me know what you guys think of this, I won't be doing it instantly. Something that you guys may not know is there's blueprints in this game. Now, what that means is, oh wait, that's actually kind of cool, the med station right there and everything. Oxygen storage, yeah, this is actually kind of cool. I like this little, ah, oh, and then they've got like interior pillars with the lights on it so that you can have lights randomly without in the way. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm definitely liking this. Wait, what's this? Oh shit, there's an even higher upstairs? Oh, look at this, guys. This is cool. Uh, why is this here, though? I wonder what that's supposed to say. But... There's, uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting sidetracked looking at all this stuff. So, for starters, let's see. Yeah, I can't turn for shit. This needs a lot more gyroscopes. But we'll get out of this. Um, I'm not really worried about it. I'm probably going to get rid of this thing anyway. But here's the thing I was trying to get out. There's blueprints, and projectors can project blueprints. So see, like right now... I fix that, and this is this, but you can go through it and see inside and place all the blocks to build this yourself. 
So pretty cool. And this is all in vanilla, cr not creative, you know, no mods, no nothing. You just make a projector block, put it down, and you have access to any blueprints that you have, like I have right here. So, yeah, kind of cool. Which is why I was thinking maybe I would build one. But apparently there's a way to actually put the projector on board so it projects this overlay. And this way here, if, say, I take a shot and this breaks off, this piece right here, it'll show it missing by being this like weird see-through-ish so I know where to put a block to replace it which is also kind of cool but I don't know I feel like I'd screw this up to be honest I feel like when I was going through at the bottom putting in all the conveyors and stuff you know I trap off an area I'm sure you guys know what I'm saying I trap off an area by making the outside and the inside and then I'd miss a block that's actually in the area but I don't know, this is pretty cool, and it's got a little docking thing right here, and because of it like this, I can come into here and see that it goes right into a conveyor system, but there's no sorter, meaning that it won't pull any of the excess stuff, but still pretty cool that I don't have to come inside to drop off. Something that I should really look into for my ship. Again, maybe this is just for ideas, maybe this is what we're going to do for our final draft. This thing is pretty nice. Oh, and it's got automatic turrets all around it. I don't know what the hell this is. I've never seen that block before. Let's go take a look over on this one. And that's why we have this. What are you? Oh, it's a wheel. An unfinished wheel just for decoration. That's fucking awesome. That's perfect. See, these are the things that I didn't... Again, excuse me. Uh, these are the things I didn't know. Is that you can do all of that kind of stuff. You can unfinish a wheel to make it look like that. You can do the catwalk. Missile turrets. Another spot to drop off shit if you needed to. Let's, uh, let's take a quick peek over here at the drop off area. Go inside. Yeah, and that goes down through these conveyors which I can't tell if they're hooked up to anything. Ah, I'm stuck. There we go. Oh, welders here. What the hell are the welders there for? Just random welders sitting right there. I can't tell if they're like... Oh, yep. See, if I get just right, I can see through the wall. They're hooked up to the conveyors as well. But... I, I guess you could, like, fly your ship over to it, and it would, as long as you leave the welders on, it would auto-repair your ship? I guess? I don't know. That seems weird. That, yeah, that seems weird. Maybe I'd skip that part. I'd probably have to redo a lot of the conveyor system if I went with this. I really don't like a lot of it. I'm very picky on my conveyor systems. But, yeah, I kind of like it. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I won't be going for this today. Um, I do want to hear what you guys think. This is definitely going to be more of an interactive than my usual videos. Because I, w I was actually planning on not doing this. Like this episode and beyond in Space Engineers. I recorded the first two, like back to back. And then the third one took like a freaking week. And I realized how long it was going to take to make all these episodes. But you guys seemed to really like them. They were starting to take off, and I was like, okay, well, if they really like them, I gotta find something to do. I need a big project, which is when I started looking at things like this. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna pop over to our world now. I just wanted to look at the best one I could find, actually, in a world. And if you guys like this one, then I will go for building it. But, and with a few modifications, of course. Gotta make it my own. But, uh, yeah, let's pop over there. Alright, we are back here. We have our grinder, we have our miner. Yeah, it, it's been a couple of days. I had to do all the uploads and everything else. You guys actually saw the date a second ago when I had the steam up. So I've kind of dated when the episode starts. But, uh, anyway, 
We're parked right near ice. I'm gonna grab more ice before we get going, maybe even some more uranium. I think our refinery is done with the uranium at the moment, which is never a good thing. I wanna keep that going. Oh, it's not. Well, I'll probably grab some more anyway, just in case. And we need to find gold. Now, whether I actually find gold or we start attacking some stuff, we wanna stay away from there. But if uh, an assailant pops up, maybe I'll go out there, take it down, have this go out there, rip it apart, you know. The usual, the usual. We really need gold to get this ship up and going. So, let me pop in here, turn off the air out there, pop open. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll pop open the door, and I'll get mining, and we'll be back. So, a couple of things. One bad thing is that unless you're in the ship, if you're remote controlling it, you can't just drop the stone, which kind of sucks. Another one is this lighting thing. Are you seeing this? Where it's like whiting out the two sides of my screen? That's never happened before. I think there was an update that kind of broke spotlights. Kind of shitty, but you know, it's whatever. It's not like it's game breaking, just kind of shitty. All right guys, so I'm down here in my hole and I just saw a military escort show up. You guys know what that means. If we attack a military escort, then they should call for backup in the form of an assailant. Now assailants I know I can take out. If I can take out a military escort, that's all the better. But let me navigate my way out of this hole. Perfect. And just for next time, get uh, you out of the way. Perfect. So we are gonna realize that we lost the ship. Oh, crap. Ah, antennas! Antennas! Antennas are good. Antennas are very good. Perfect! Alright, so we are gonna go attack that military escort and hope that it spawns an assailant. And actually, this is kind of an annoyance. So rather than go all the way around, here's something we can do get out of the mining drone since we're sitting in the ship. Doors right. Oh, maybe it was doors left. Yeah. Open. See? And then we can just slide on in. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. And actually another thing we could have done was just hit F, gone to here. Oh crap. But now I can't. Ah, uh, why did I? Now I gotta go like this because it's not actually connected. There we go. But, uh, yeah, kind of cool that I have complete control of the ship and the ship that I'm antenning to. Come on, before we lose the military escort, get in here. No, up a little more, up a little more. I'm a little out of practice. It's been a couple of days, guys. I'm sorry. There we go. Okay, so leave that there. Screw all that. F. Close, close. We need to... Actually, leave those open. Open. Uh, leave the air off, get out of here, put back on our helmet. We are going, guys. Uh, close that, close that, close that. I forgot to turn off the air in there. Okay, there we go. Alright. We'll be back once we're there. You guys can watch me die. Alright. Well, I literally just hit cancel on uh, the recording, and it disappeared. That's fantastic. So, all that for nothing. All right. I mean, you can see how far I made it, but it's gone. Military escort disappeared. That's really, really, really shitty that they only stay around for like two, maybe three minutes. Yeah, I think that might be some kind of setting for server. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, that thing's been there forever. But I know me and Dick were raiding a frigate for like, I don't know, three hours to be able to take it down. Just very, very odd. So, while well, I'm on my way to this next planet, I figured I'd clue you guys in on something else that I figured out while messing around in creative. While there is solar energy, it is garbage. Like, I took something bigger than my ship right here, and I put a solar panel on every side, everywhere that I could fit it. Like, the entire thing, instead of decoration, was nothing but solar panels. So on the side here, I would have had two, four, six, maybe even eight solar panels. More on the top, more on the dark sides. So really only these two sides counted. And I would have had about 20 
all around on light sides for this thing and it trickle charged a battery couldn't run like anything at all if i even turned on thrusters it was empty like it, it was horrible it was absolutely horrible Maybe if I parked, turned off everything, didn't run a refinery or anything like that for, like, literally a couple of real-life days and just had a shit ton of batteries, maybe that would be a thing. But I'm pretty sure my guy would die because I'd run out of ice for the oxygen. Yeah, it was just... it was really, really bad. I think that needs to be revisited because there's no reason I have solar energy in this game because it's that bad. So if you guys are picking this up and deciding to play on your own, I was pretty excited about, because you guys know me from Minecraft, I love having everything like auto-renewable, auto-everything, I can just get out there, build, do what I want to do. I can't do that here. Solar energy and sol solar oxygen works alright, solar oxygen worked pretty good. So I'm probably going to convert this from ice to solar oxygen at some point, I just don't know when. Oh my god guys you ready are you ready for this cameras can zoom i need to put cameras everywhere on everything i just accidentally clicked my scroll wheel to find that out like holy shit i i've i've even mentioned i know at least a couple of times in recordings how much i wanted a zoom feature like optifine Oh my god, it's been here all along. I've just been too retarded to use my scroll wheel. So as I mentioned several, several, several times, I need gold. I need gold like well. Now, I'm, what my hope is, is that one of these things that I've gone to, one of these asteroids, had gold, but that it was too deep in or something, that my drills or finder could not find it, and that by parking my ship next to it, I will be able to see gold. So, I'm looking at what I still really need. I'm low on silver, low on nickel, low on cobalt. Obviously gold, platinum. Silicon could use a little more, but I don't use it all that much. Like, I don't use much at a time. So, I'm figuring, because gravel, you can get that anywhere. Silicon's last, but we'll go to platinum next. We are at cobalt and nickel. Nickel is down here right now, as you can see. Tearing through some stuff. And, uh, wait, what? Why is there ice in the connector? That should be right there. Oh, it's full. That is wonderful. That is a beautiful thing. We're full on ice. I mean, it kind of sucks that it's stuck in the connector, but shit, let it stay. All right. I didn't even realize that. So I'm going to go out there and go get some cobalt now since, as you just saw, we have quite a bit of nickel going through. So, uh, yeah. But that's my hope is that when we visit, like, the platinum planet or something, that there was actually gold deep in there and I could dig through, like, layer upon layer of stone and get some gold. But wish me luck, guys. Well, this is a perfect example. I came here, as you can see, I named it Platinum because all I found was the Platinum. But now that I parked my ship really, really close to it, I can see that there's cobalt and uranium. But unfortunately, no gold. Maybe on the other side of the asteroid where I can't really see. But that's why I have the little miner thing. So I can take that around the asteroid and take a look. But this was a perfect example, so I wanted to pop in. But yeah, we need platinum. Turn down the game sound a little bit because I wanted to show you guys something. And this is loud as balls. So as you can see, I'm mining right here, and I'm barely denting this. You can see my mass over on the side increasing by not even a kilogram. Not even, like, 0.1. Oh, wait, is that a thousand? Or is that point? Well, whatever. Whether it's a hundred kilograms or 0.1 kilograms. I can't tell if that's a period or a comma. My screen's kind of small. But anyway, yeah, either way, it's increasing by that tiny, tiny little amount. Now, it's not that I'm complaining about how long that it takes, but every now and then, it'll kick up, and I'm gaining by, we'll say that's thousands, because I really think that's comma. I'll gain up by like 3,000 kilograms per like second. It, it goes insane, and I can't figure out what the difference is. Like, I, I don't think there is one. I think it's just whether it's in a good mood or not. Like right here. 
you just saw it go up by 600. 500. Another 500. I mean, but it's going to calm down in a second. It, I try to abuse it and get as much as I can during those times, but it's not consistent. Like, now I'm going to be stuck doing piddly nothing. Oh, 300. That's not bad. But you guys see what I'm saying. It, if I aim at a full thing, I should be able to burrow in, and sometimes I can and just tear through it. It's like certain parts of the ore are much harder than other parts, but I don't think that's it. As, as you just saw right there, the same spot, it just started tearing through it. And it's very, very weird. I don't understand it at all. Um, maybe at some point I'll figure out a way to make sure that it always goes through that fast. But, kind of a downside. Alright, one more time. What is an Argentavis? I have no idea, but... Guys, I think we're about to go find out. Let me go drop off this ship and head over towards it. We'll be back. Okay, I don't know what's happening, but apparently there's a raid in progress. And it's telling me where... Oh, a weapons platform with Galling. Is this a space station? Guys, I think we just found a space station. Uh, this is a space station. We'll need to, we'll need to um, make a fighter, so we can lob missiles from forever away. Now, I have no inventory on me, so this is actually kind of exciting. I have no problem doing a suicide run. The names are starting to get in the way. I want to be able to actually see this thing. Okay, so the platform is there. Raid in progress. Okay, so they're two separate things. The Gatling platform. I don't think we want to go to the Gatling platform. Let's turn on dampener so we can scoot to the side. I want to see what this Argent thing is. If only I had a camera, I could zoom. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Uh, if I, I mean, I could have canceled recording, but it would have been like 15 seconds and back. So sorry about that. I probably should have. All right, let's see it. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, there's a dyad. Holy shit! What is all this stuff over here? I think they're just dropping things off. Is that a mine? Am I? Oh, okay. I was about to say, am I really not getting shot at? No, stop, 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 stop. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Get to the fucking back. Are you kidding me? Why can't I ever stop? Well, guys, we totally could have taken that out. Like, no problem whatsoever. If only the fucking game would work once in a while. Holy shit. Alright, I'm gonna fly back out there because we really could have taken that. And I'll be back. Alright, you know what? Screw it. It's not going well. Um, I actually just tried yet another time and I died. I'm on my way back out. I forgot to hit record because I flew right into him. I kind of zoned out for a second. So, that's not working out. It's getting far away. Let's go take a look at what this is. I assume the Gatling platform is just going to be, like, a Gatling gun, a few light armor blocks, and maybe a battery or something. I don't know. We'll see. I want to at least see what these things are. And I assume you guys do too, unless you already know because you're playing the game and you've run into them. Which, sorry if this isn't new information, but I do want to see what it is. Come on. I, I thought by the time I cleared up the fact that I had already died a couple more times of that, we would have been there. I'm really off of my recording times today. I'm sorry for that. Come on. Okay. This looks safer. Let's go after the dyad. Please don't shoot me, Gatlin. Oh, wait. You're not shooting me. Oh, now you are. Okay. Let's keep going to the dyad. What the fuck is this? Oh, you're shooting at me, too. It's just a random gun in space? What? the fuck is this? Oh, you are a ship! <gasps> you are a ship. Okay, so you're a turret. 
Let's uh, disable you. Now I gotta be careful. The other turret's on that side. Oh god, where's the turret? I'm totally gonna fucking die. Alright guys, let's just uh, go try to find the reactor. Take out all the power. This may be a dumb idea. This may be a brilliant idea. I have no idea. Uh, let me in. Let me in. I don't like it out here. Let me in. What the shit? Let me in. I know I can fit in there. You piece of shit game. Let me in. Oh my god. Okay, apparently my guy is the biggest fat ass ever to fit into a space engineer's uniform. I can't get in here. Are you shitting me right now? What the fuck is this? It, like seriously, is this real life? I can't get in here. I, I can't get in. There's like an invisible barrier right here that's just stopping me. Well, this is wonderful. At least I can reach the reactor. Took out the power there. Took out the power there. Is there still power? Engines are still on. There's gotta be something else. Maybe if I destroy enough of this shit, it'll let me in. Careful, don't go back too far. Yeah, I still can't get in. I I don't understand this at all. There's definitely plenty of room for my guy to get in. Like, switch to third person. Oh, maybe not. Wow. Well, I feel like a dumbass. Was it that thing the whole time? No. Come on. I can get rid of a lot of this volume. Will you break? Thank you. I can get rid of a lot of this volume if I just took out the power. God damn it! It keeps, like, ejecting me. Ejecto fucking seed up. Like that! What the shit? I'm gonna get shot! What's this? really didn't want to have to go for the thruster. It's gonna have some heavy shit on it. Alright, I'm inside. About fucking time. Holy shit. Alright, so we've got a conveyor, medium cargo. Can't get into the medium cargo, but there is a medium cargo. see if we can get over here. There's got to be another reactor around here. I'm figuring there's one through this wall. Right? That reactor that... <sighs> Stop fucking ejecting me! The shit game! Okay. That's a programmable block. Timer block. Beacon. I don't see another reactor. It's got to be on the other side. So... How do we get there? Or at least close enough to turn it off without dying to the turret that is somewhere. Alright! Oh! oh, that's a gyroscope. We really need this power off. Like, we really need this power off. Each block that I break could have the turret behind it. I can see- WHAT THE FUCK GAME?! Are you guys seeing this bullshit? It's just kicking me way the fuck out! I- I can't get to the reactor. It won't let me. The game's being a piece of shit right now. I, I don't understand why it's being so bad right now. Let's finish off the reactor. 
pick up that. Access denied. Drop you below the point. Put you back up. You'll be in my storage. Take everything. Because I have a feeling I'm about to fucking die. Wait, did it take the uranium out? No. You see this? The uranium's not draining. Maybe because I don't own the reactor, but maybe there's not a reactor over there. Okay, guys. Oh, yep. Found the turret. Found the fucking turret. Alright, so we're gonna go back to that. The dryad. We're gonna go back to that. I'll take care of it. Fuck. Where's my body? Body location. Alright, I'm gonna bring the ship closer to it so I don't have to fly every time. And, uh... We'll hopefully get somewhere from there. I'll be back. Cool thing in this game, by the way, after all the bad that just happened and, you know, really pissing me off, I'm trying to focus on the good. So, if I could find gold and get enough of it, you can put something in your ship called a jump drive. And it's basically what it sounds like. It's like Star Trek. You can jump to any point, really. Um, I haven't used one, ever. I've never built one, ever, even in creative. I haven't tried it out yet. I found out about it, I don't know, maybe last week. But I haven't tested it out yet. But apparently it consumes a lot of fuel to be able to do it. So, I don't know, maybe setting up shop with, uh... Why am I having a brain fart? With uh, the solar panels. Setting up shop with the solar panels wouldn't be so bad. You know, you sit there, you get all the stuff that you want, and then you save up enough energy to be able to do a jump, and then you jump, you know? Maybe make a really long ship with those solar panels, so I'm not completely rolling out the solar panels yet. I really want to figure out a way to make them work. Like, I really, really, really want a renewable source of power. Having to worry about uranium like we had before, at the very beginning of this, when we just had no uranium and everything just fell apart, I don't want to have that happen again, ever. It, it was bad. So, maybe that's something, and then just jump drive between the areas. That would also be cool, but the problem is, is I think I set all these waypoints like inside an asteroid, so I feel like if I jumped to one of them, I'd break my ship. I don't know, we're gonna have to figure out how all this works. Uh oh, what do we have up there? barb? I don't even know what the fuck a barb is. But we're almost to my body location and it doesn't look good. I don't see any signs of a ship, so maybe there's nothing left. I don't want to get too close, though. I did want to be closer so I didn't have to worry about travel time. But, uh, yeah. It doesn't look good. You know what? Five kilometers is good. We'll be back once we're there and find out if there's anything there. Yeah, it's looking like another case of the vanished ship. There's nothing here. Yeah, one kilometer away and I can't see any signs of a ship. It's gone. So I guess I'll go take a look at what's up with this barb. But, uh, yeah. That's really, really shitty that all these ships just vanished. Like, I had that one pretty much disabled. If it didn't fuck me, I had it fully disabled. And there was all that stuff I put away and... It's just so fucking annoying that I can do all this and then the ship's just gone. Just straight up. Peace out. I don't know, guys. It's really annoying me. A lot of this game is really annoying me. I may end up taking a break soon. Don't worry, it won't be permanent. It'll just be the end of today. Come on. Let's see what this barb's all about. I have a feeling I'm going to get shot down like three or four times unless I get really lucky on my way that I approach it. And, yep, considering I'm already being shot at. <gasps> Remember what I was just saying about really lucky on approach? Okay, it's got two feet for landing. Okay, we've got a conveyor right here. I like all these thrusters. If I can just take out the gun can bring my ship over. I just need to take out the gun. Just need to take out the gun. Gatling turret. Huh. What the fuck? Oh, it's a conveyor tube. I've never looked inside of one. I mean, I guess it makes sense. 
I've just never looked inside of one. All right, so we need to get back over there, get back over here, because I don't think there's a way to remote control this or anything like that. So yeah, we need to, let's grab our ship and bring it over here. We'll leave that up. Hopefully it doesn't disappear. All right, we need to get back. We need to get back in quick. All right, well, getting back quick isn't a concern anymore. On my way back, I don't even know which direction I'm fucking heading anymore. On my way back, it disappeared off my radar, which means that it's gone. We've learned that much already. Okay, so new plan. Next time I disable a ship, just go straight for the fucking thrusters, because apparently they only stick around for 10 seconds at a time. Yeah, if you can't tell from the inflection in my voice, I am getting pissed. Like... They won't give me gold. I find a way to get gold by attacking ships, so they take away the ships now. I'm start like, seriously, I'm pissed off. Okay, the only thing that's stayed a constant is that raiding station. I may attack the raiding station. I mean, I'm out of options. I need gold. It's a need. I can't do anything else. I want to make my ship bigger. I want to make it better. I want to do stuff. I want to make a jump drive. I want to do all this shit. Everything requires gold and I'm clean out. And I can't get it from ships. They disappear. I can't get it from asteroids. It doesn't exist. My only option left is to run at a rating station 8 billion fucking times until maybe I slip through by accident. Yeah. This doesn't sound like fun. I think I'm going to park at this asteroid and maybe call it a day for now, guys. Uh, I'll check to see how long I've been recording, but it's been hours. It's nighttime here now. I started at, I don't know, like 12.31. Yeah. Definitely, definitely pissed off at this game right now. So something else that I noticed that uh, I wonder if it actually works in the way that I think it does. But if I here, turn off my jetpack, you'll notice that the thrusters here are going off, trying to stop my momentum because of the gyroscope and dampeners and yada yada yada. But yeah, it's trying to balance me out. Not gyroscope, I'm sorry, I meant dampeners. I tried to skim right over it, but I'm sure someone would have been like, freaking turd in the comments, so. But yeah. That's kind of cool. I hope these actually work for slowing down, though I don't see how they could since they're shooting off inside here, but game mechanics don't have to follow actual logic. But that'd be kind of cool, because then you could set up all sorts of ships in here facing in the correct direction. You can get extra momentum, you know, that kind of stuff. It'd be kind of cool. Though I don't know what they could do for something of this size. But yeah, something I noticed. All right, so I'm parked on the opposite side. It's got an assailant. I don't know what an informant... Well, I know what an informant is, but I don't know what it is in this game. Uh, turn that off. Let's uh, get out of here. I really need to set up those button panels, because the only way to open up this door as it stands right now is to touch this, go to that. Oh, crap. Did I... Oh! My helmet's off. Okay, well, let's heal up before heading out, because I fucking derped. Alright. 95% is good enough. Let's go. Now, I have that labeled as iron and ice, but my ship isn't picking up ice. It's all the way on the other side, so... When I bring out the miner, I'll have to do a quick tour of it. But let's see if we even have a prayer of touching this thing. I'll be back when I'm closer. This is too long of a run. Alright, so all I have to do is get past the two ships and get to the base and not die. Yeah. I don't see this happening. I don't see this even remotely happening. I, I don't know what to do, guys. Well, I could cheat. And I don't mean this by going creative or any of that. It's it's kind of like exploiting, really, more than cheating. But exploiting is cheating. 
Here's what I'm thinking, guys. So you can spawn in when you die. Here, let me just die real quick. Yep, commit suicide. Oh, how sad for me. When you come back, you have all this stuff right here. Now, I could take a planetary lander. I could take anything here. And it'll spawn me in. So, let's say I do the planetary lander. How far away does that put me? Oh, that's too far away. Yeah, 30 kilometers. Okay, so we don't like this one. Get out. Commit suicide again. Two, one. Uh, Mars, planetary lander. How far away? Holy shit. We are jump drive far away, and I don't think this has a jump drive. I doubt it would. Oh. Odd. Okay. Uh, no. I to L. No J. No jump drive. Alright, so screw that one too. 2,000 kilometers. Come on. And alien planet. How far away is that? Wait, something's nine meters. Oh, I'm nine meters. Five. Holy shit. Okay, so that 30 kilometer away one. That one sounds... Oh, wait. I don't want to do that. That one sounds perfect. All right, so commit suicide. I really don't want to see my deaths in this game. <laughs> but if we go planetary lander, all right, and follow me here. If we go planetary lander, and then we bring our ship, like our actual ship, over to this point. So I set a waypoint right now, GPS, uh, new from current position, we'll name it dot cheats. Dot so it stays at the top. We'll make it always visible. So this way here, cheats is right here at my current location. I can get out of this actually get back in this turn everything off and it's got thrusters all around and shit so then we suicide because let's face it I've taken out like five fucking ships today alone and lost them all every one of them just gone for no reason what is that? oh I suicided right hey I'll take some ammo cool I'm like, what the fuck is this doing in here? Um, alright. And depressurize. Get in there. Get in there. So now if we were to get in this, back up and away for 30 years, I'm guessing that 31 kilometer one over on the right hand side is the way we're looking to go. Yep, dot cheats. So then, why is my view all messed up? There we go. So then we just aim towards cheats and set it off. Now this is gonna take fucking forever to get out there, but once I'm there, I can suicide, grab a new ship after I tear it apart with my grinder and spawn in like five or six ships to get me back what I have lost. Cause in all reality, I earned those ships. Like, you guys watched me disable one, almost disable another, and I went after an assailant earlier today, and it just disappeared before I got there, and I know I can take out an assailant. It's just, it's really, really pissing me off. So, this is about the closest thing I could think of to getting back what the game has stolen. And yeah, some people could say, well, obviously that's a part of the game, and that's a mechanic and all of that, but, you know, if you're gonna lose stuff that you have and that's a game mechanic, that's a very bad game mechanic. That's like if you build a house in Minecraft, alright, and then you log back in and find out that you were evicted. Not a creeper blew up or something, no, you were evicted, so you can't enter back into that house that you create crafted it'll stay there it's not broken or anything you just can't enter it so all your chests and stuff you can't even open like that's seriously what they're doing i earned those ships and they took it away but yeah so we're gonna cheat a little bit and i'll be back once the cheating's done 
all sitting here at top speed worrying about how I'm ever going to be able to slow down once, you know, I start getting close. I was thinking about stuff, and while you're letting me know what you think about that giant ship down in the comments, also let me know what you think about maybe, like, I was thinking about that giant ship and how it had those two connectors on the outside. What if I put the two connectors that I use for landing my ships on the outside as well? and just have the grinder and the miner out there and I'll make a whole new one for a welder and this way here I can put them on the outside never need to bring them in never need to really open those doors I can completely change the ship's design at that point because I wouldn't need to let things in and out really the welder ship sure maybe a battleship that I go into you know something like that sure I could see me needing to go into those and why am I losing speed I have dampeners off that's not supposed to happen. Yeah, I'm losing speed for no reason. But anyway. So what do you guys think about putting them on the outside? I, I don't know if that would look okay. Like, I feel like I need to redesign my miner ship. Or maybe... Oh, maybe I just put a bunch of the mining things out front of this ship. Like, along the top, bottom, and sides. Like, make a big old rectangle of mining things. And use this once I have a bunch of gold. Yeah and use this as my mining ship. I could just tear through things. I don't know about that. We'll see. Oh, crap, I'm getting I'm getting close. I need to slow the fuck down. But uh yeah, I've got a lot of ideas coming through. But I'm going to get back to this whole cheating thing and I will be back. Well, guys, I just looked because I was waiting on slowing down and there was nothing I could really do whether I crashed or not. I just looked, and apparently we're already over 45 minutes for today's episode. So I'm going to go back through by the time you guys get to see it. I'm, I'm going to have to clip out some of the stuff. Uh, I don't know what you guys will actually see, what you guys won't. Some of the stuff may be missing. I'll have to figure out what's important and what's not. Which is kind of a pain in the ass. I didn't realize that I'd recorded that much over the hours that I've been playing. But, uh, I feel like we didn't get anything done. It was just a lot of traveling. But I'll do this cheating in between episodes, and you guys will get to see the fruits of the labor in the next episode. Guys, this has been Awe. I hope you enjoyed, even though we didn't really get anything done. I hope you guys still enjoyed, you know, me getting pissed off, me hating my life, me hating this game. And, uh, as always, I will see you next time.